Welcome to the Medical Attack Vehicle Ambulance Build Project. In the previous video, I installed these kitchen cabinets, but they've got no countertop. So I've come up with an interesting plan of what I want to do today. I have purchased a countertop out here, and what I want to do is make this also a desk. So I need somewhere to have my legs. So what I've done here is I'm going to cut it at exactly 36 inches here and that's going to allow um, for this side to be fixed where I'll put the sink and this side will be on sliders where it will slide out and make into a desk so that's the plan but what I have to do very 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 carefully is make sure I cut it exactly straight on this cut here otherwise it will if it's a wedge shape it'll bind up and it won't come out or there'll be a big gap and I find myself yet again at the place where I'm destroying something that's expensive uh, I didn't, this isn't a very expensive countertop, so it can be replaced and it won't be hard to replace, but uh, I always hate this part where I'm cutting up something that's perfectly good just to try out something new. So I went ahead and I put some duct tape on here. I've seen some people, they tape it to try to help the formica from not chipping off. But my blade cuts on the up stroke, so I'm just going to go very slow and I'm actually using a metal blade with a very, very, very fine tooth pattern. And I'm just going to go super slow and hope the formica holds together. Well, right out of the gate, disaster struck. The guard somehow had gotten loose and gotten tilted. So the very first cut is on a diagonal. That's very disheartening. So what I've done is I've just shifted the line over and I'm gonna go ahead and cut on the new line here. And we'll just, you know, if we have to get a new countertop, that's fine, but, um, so this, this one may just be a learning experience. In the end though, it might fit so close together, it may not be noticeable that that's a diagonal just there. So we'll keep cutting. Well, this is one of those cases where it just went from bad to worse. Um, I had to start from the other end because I couldn't get the blade in at this angle. It would have cut this whole notch out. So I had to start on the far end, and no matter what I did, cutting from the back, it just would not line up. However, the tape did work well. I didn't have any of the Formica um, flaking, and uh, the line isn't the straightest, which I kind of figured that would happen. And you're going to see a black line no matter how close you get these together going to be a little line but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the whole build and because there's a lot of other stuff I need to learn how to do how to make the slides and how to fit everything else so this will be a great learning experience and then I can just get another top and I'll know how to figure out to do it then here's the countertop in place um, I have another idea there's always going to be a black line here and actually as I pull it out the black line is going to have to get even bigger because it's not a perfectly straight line. So I had an idea where I've got this aluminum trim piece like here. I can get a thin aluminum strip. And when in doubt, I found it's best not to hide things like this um, to really kind of accent them when they're that bad. So I was thinking of putting an aluminum strip and bend it to fit and attach it to the left piece. And then it will curve around here and so it'll have a nice edge. So then when you close it back up, it'll slide with the left piece and it will cover up that whole gap. Um, so that'll give a big strip down the middle and people will probably say, well, what that's for? And then you can pull it out and show them. But I think that's going to work okay. And I'm not, this was a big plus. I thought I was going to have to notch out for this door. Uh, but it turns out I don't because it will open anyway. As long as I push it in like this, it will come out. I don't plan on using it much, but I just like... To show people that that's how you would reach through to turn on the oxygen tank so don't have to count cut it there now i am going to have a gap here and a gap here but there'll be a trim board here and i can adjust it for this gap here and then this didn't turn out too bad here we'll put a trim board in there take care of that so i do have this big section back here which i'll have to put in so here's what i got so far i've got some brackets here because there's only one place to attach it right back up in here Got some brackets on the back. My knowns are I know the length of this board. I know I want this to be right at the front. I know I need a notch. And see there where I've attached it. I'm leaving this floating back here. So the big unknown is how do I know where to screw? I can set the countertop on top of this and screw from underneath. But it's going to be a bit tricky to see if it will... Uh, you know how far to 
get it to where it'll sit back just right and flush. So, bit of an unknown, but I figure it'll, the solution will present itself when I get there. Well, I gotta say, things are improving. They're going pretty good. So, um, I'll show you how it's working. It's a nice snug fit, which is fine. Pulls all the way up to here. Now, there is one problem. See, it's got a shift here, up and down. But I've got a solution for that. And that's because it's, it's my drawer slides were not heavy duty enough. They weren't long enough. Now, what I ended up doing to get it installed, all I did is I just went up under here, pulled out the um, pulled out the metal pieces and just put one screw in each end and tried it out. That works and put, an, uh, put another screw in each end. And I just started adding one screw here, one screw there. And just kept sliding it in and out, in and out, and let everything find its happy place. Over here, I went ahead and, well, you can't see it. I went ahead and put a bracket back under here to hold this in place and hold this in place to keep the shifting here. I still haven't really screwed this down other than just right here and right here to try to let this one determine where things are going to be. Okay, so my problem with it going like this, I've made this little apparatus here not to be undone. And this is a little slide and it's going to go on the back here. And what it's going to do is it's going to slide along and make sure that it doesn't tilt up and down and hold it in place. So I'm going to screw this in, see how that works. Well, I got to tell you that idea was a bust because the wood wouldn't let it get all the way back. So I did come up with an alternative plan and it seems to have worked out. So here's what I came up with. I just needed a little piece of wood to adjust it. And so it's screwed on the top and just slides on the bottom. That keeps the rear end from popping up. Now it has made for an extremely tight fit, which is fine with me. And I tell you, sometimes accidents work out. See this notch right here? This does a perfect job of making sure that it stops even with the other one. So when you pull it out, it is snug, but over time that should be come a little loose. And also I don't want it sliding out when you're going down the road. I'll probably put in some kind of cotter pen or something to keep it in place. But there it is. And um, I've got to go get that. i got to go get an aluminum trim. I'm going to get a piece of trim like this and bend it into shape to cover the black. And then I need to put some sort of trim over here and over here. But man, I really like this. This is cool. Um, may have to add something back here to make this more attractive. So here's what's really cool about this notch. When I close it, stops it right there. That makes the backsplash line up. Love it, love it, love it. When an accident turns out to be an advantage. So here is our finished project. So I got the trim board across the bottom, got all this filled in and a couple ongoing projects here um, painting this in a gloss white the door over here for the oxygen um, the, the hinges were all corroded so i spray painted them red it looks good with the black on the front also the hinges here and repainted the door which turned out real nice in a gloss red and that will go right over here for the trash receptacle and also, I think that'll serve as a heating duct for the water tank in the winter. So also what I found was, I kind of liked pulling out the countertop for the stove. And this is the stove I'm going to use. I don't want to devote, I don't want to cut a hole in the top for a stove. So I just want something that I can use and I can put up in a bin. And this is very small. I'll put a card here. I did a review on this stove if you'd like to check that out. As you can see, it's only about the size of your hand. This is not an open flame. This is a butane, and it's by Camp Lux. And so it's a ceramic burner, so it does infrared heating with the butane, so no open flame. But um, I like having it pulled out because of the ceiling room. It's just a little too tight under there to be having heating going on. So this works out really well. So you saw the metal trim here. I went ahead and repeated it over here and over here so that it would all match. So here I have it set up for office space. We've got a cheap stool from Walmart for $12. I'd really like to get this stool right here. This is amazing. It is adjustable and it would be perfect for this space and it would be very comfortable. So you can see all the countertop space for that. 
Also in the back, you can see I had to build out this um, section here, but this gives a nice shelf. And there's all sorts of things that could be designed in there, spice rack, um, knife holders, all sorts of things back there. Um, I'm, I'm debating about a backsplash. I don't know. I don't really want to bring a lot of attention to this area. I want the attention to be over here. So I may just leave the back as it is. The paint is extremely durable. And I was able to finish off some of the space back here, but not all of it because that slider that I designed underneath has to go back and forth here. So there's nothing to mount this piece to. And that one is almost closed out where I can't reach it, but I'll probably finish it out later when I cut the inside down in here to run plumbing and things. I'll probably finish that back out. But kind of just if something rolled off the counter here, didn't want it going to never, never land. So I hope you enjoyed this project. So the next one, since I'm having to wait two weeks for my sofa, um, the next project I thought I would really benefit from is refrigeration. And this is my awesome Dometic refrigerator compressor amazing piece of work and it's been in every conversion I've done so I need to mount that in here and it's gonna slide out but there's some problems with the width so I'm gonna have to do some engineering to where these doors become one door and swing out so in that next episode I'm gonna modify the cabinet build a slide out rack and make a really cool way to have my refrigeration so I hope to see you in the next episode should be very interesting